Russia! What are we doing this week? I don't know, you didn't tell us. <laughs> we were making spatulas. Yeah. So, two spatulas this week for a commission. Ooh, a commission. This is your commission. My commission? Your first commission. I'm doing it? Yes. Yeah. So, somebody commissioned the Dom to make two spatulas. Now, we're going to go through the details and everything in there. This is a choose-your-own-adventure for Dom. Yeah, so I'm going to go through the pros and the cons of each choice. And you're going to make a choice through the whole process. And then we're going to do this commission as if you're building the commission. And you are. And so at the, at the very end, you will have what's ever going on at the very end. So you can cheap out at every single step. You can have the most money at the end, right? Or you can go super expensive. And make maybe like two bucks. Maybe make almost nothing, but have an amazing product, right? The other thing is, is that you can make really tough decisions um, have to pay for more product and that sort of thing would because you messed up on whatever and you might end up losing them. Okay, so, so I don't want to pay anybody back, right? Yeah, <laughs> so this is, these are the choices that you get to make. So this is John Dom's Choose Your Own Adventure for Commission. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so here we are. We have these small pans. This is what uh, the person that commissioned us has these tiny, tiny pans. Okay. And what happens is that they make eggs or whatever in these pans, and they make them with regular size spatulas. Those are plastic, but we have a wood regular size spatula. But it's too big for them, for these tiny little pans, right? They want a smaller spatula, something that's only a few inches wide, that they can make their eggs, and it's really easy and small for them to make whatever. They just want it straight. They don't want it curved. You see how this one kind of curves a little bit? A straight spatula. And then, so they want two of these straight spatulas that are only a, a few inches wide. Yeah. I mean, this one had a pine as, as like a test product, and uh, you'll be making two of those types of spatulas. Uh, so that's what the product is. Yep. All right, Dom. What? Your total is... Ten dollars a spatula. Okay, so twenty bucks in total. Twenty bucks in total. Just have like a thing right here, like twenty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> twenty bucks. Here's your first decision. What, what type of wood are you using? Ooh. This is poplar, and this is red oak. So your first decision is the poplar or the red oak. The poplar is four dollars. The red oak is five dollars. And that's just five dollars off of the total. Off of the total. Okay. You know what? It's only a little bit more money. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, with this one right here. The red oak. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the red oak. It's really nice, and it'll make a better product in the end. And it's only a dollar more. All right. Good decision. Second decision. So we can resaw this in half, right? Or we can cut it in half and then thin down the boards, right? Resawing it in half and risking going straight up the center, we could lose half of the board, right? Which means that we may have to go back, but we get two attempts at it yeah. and resawing it in half. The good news is if we do it right the first time, you only use half the board. So we're only using $2.50 worth of wood instead of five. So that means my total will actually go up. Yes. Okay. So do you want to resaw the wood or do you just want to shape it down to size? I think I'll. I think I'll do the cutting it in, in half one because then, uh, if, if we get it right, that means that I end up saving two dollars fifty cents on this. All right, so we're gonna go with the resaw option. Here we go. All right, so I can mark out the what the spatula looks like for one dollar, or for one penny in materials, which is gonna be the ink from the pen, right? Yeah. Um, you can do it. Okay, so how can that cost a penny for me, though? Because uh, I've got to rebuy a pen when your pen's out, so <laughs> the ink is a penny, right? I think it's a bit less than a penny, but all right. Yeah. I think I'll do it. You're going to do it. All right, go ahead and mark it out. All right. Uh, yeah. You've drawn the outline. Yeah. All right, next step. All right, kid. So, next step, uh, we've got the bandsaw here for the next step. Okay. So, I will cut them out for you for a dollar per one, or you can cut it out yourself. So, that's two dollars? That's two dollars. Okay, so the pro for this is that um, if you mess up, I don't have to rebuy the board, right? Yes. All right. If you mess up, you do have to rebuy the board. And I have no idea how to do this, I'm going to have you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Save yourself the mess up on the board. That's the smart, smart choice. Yeah. Yep, so it's then it's going to be $2.50 for the board, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you plug in the bandsaw for me?
in every way, even at the thickest point. They're both, they, even at the thinnest point, they're both still thicker than, than this board. So we're still good. Mm -hmm. So we just need to flatten it now. Yep. So, shaping. Shaping, Dom. Mm -hmm. I'll charge you a dollar a board to shape them. Do you want me to shape them? Mm. We have shaping, sanding, and finishing left. I'm thinking I probably do the finishing and sanding. So I'm not gonna. I don't know how to shape. So I think I'll have you do it. All right. So so dollar per one yep. shaping. <laughs> So another decision, kid. All right, what are the options? All right, so the options are, I sand it for a dollar per each. That's not worth it. Um, for each grit. <laughs> no. So that would be four dollars for me to sand it. I hate sanding. Um, the other option is that you sand them for the cost of the sandpaper, which for two grits um, is probably twenty-five cents worth of sandpaper each. So fifty cents instead of the um, instead of the two dollars each. Okay. Uh, 50 cents altogether. Well, yeah. What's the third option? The third option is not to sand it at all. All right, third option. No, no, and it looks like junk. Um, you can do that. Um, you can you can put a product out there that you haven't sanded, but people are going to eat off this. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think? Um, I'll sand it. All right, and you're going to sand it yourself? Yep. So one quarter per each is going to be the price of the sandpaper. What if we only use one sandpaper, though? <laughs> well, you, well, just for the wear and tear on sandpaper. All right, go for it. You can. All right. All right, so the next step is hand sanding. Okay. So you can skip the hand sanding, but the hand sanding is the final, like, touch up and makes them look and pop, you know. Um, and you know how that looks when you hand sand them. It kind of gets all those, those rough edges and those little grooves out. So there's four options, I'm guessing. Uh, yes, you can skip it all together. Okay. You've already sanded them, so you don't need to make them perfect, right? Um, or you can do the hand sanding step, which really kind of makes them perfect, right? Yeah. Um, you can do it yourself. And honestly, I'm not gonna charge you because we're using the scrap 220 from an old sander that we had. Okay. So you can do it yourself. I will help you. I actually like sitting with you and hand sanding, so I will help you for 50 cents. Mm -hmm. Or I will do it all myself for $2 uh, spatula. That's not, uh, well, how does that make sense? Because 50 cents for you to help. I don't like sanding, but I like helping with you and, and um, sanding with you. So then why is it so much for students? Yeah, so those are the options. What do you want? Mm. <laughs> so if I do it by myself, uh, it's free. It's free. If I skip it, it's free. So... If I help you, it's 50 cents. Yeah. I'm wondering, should I just do this by, by myself? It's up to you. Because... I could probably do that this one pretty easily. Yep. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do this or, one. Or you can get my expertise for 50 cents. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do this me. All right, yeah. all right, that is your, your well, adventure. Well, activated. Charge. So you were using scrap 220, so I'm not gonna charge you. Go ahead and hand sand it by yourself. Okay. Here we go. Now, here's your choice. Do you want to put mineral spirits on them? Mineral spirits will probably cost you, eh, honestly, it's probably going to be a quarter worth of mineral spirits for both of those. Uh, do you know what the mineral spirits does? Mineral spirits, mostly they just get the project ready to put on the finish. Yes, so you see when we sanded it, all the tiny little sand that's still in there, if you put the finish on the product with all that sand on there, it's going to look like junk. Yeah. Um, and it's not going to have the best finish, right? Yeah. So the mineral spirits will clean up all that sand 
we'll, uh, we'll clean up all the wood dust, we'll clean up all that, and prep it for making a really beautiful product. Yeah. So, is it worth the quarter for both of them? Yeah, I think it's worth the quarter. All right, I think so too. Yeah. So, that's why we use mineral spirits on just about every project. So, there you go. Here we go. Oh my god, those are going to be gorgeous. Yeah, they are. <laughs> this looks beautiful. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna need a place to put these. We don't want to put them directly on this. Well, we have the finishing station. All right, so should I just hand them over to you? Yeah. All right, so that's the first one. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, that's such a beautiful wood that you chose. Yeah, it is. And this is why I chose this wood instead of the other. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yay! Choose your own adventure. All right. We are choosing either walnut oil or shellac. Those are the two food safe materials that we use. And honestly, Wait, I won't. Is this food safe? <laughs> so you have to finish it with either walnut oil or shellac. Sh shellac dries pretty quick, um, but it'll probably take a few coats. Yeah, so like two or three. Yeah. Walnut oil is a longer dry, but it'll soak in real good. It'll probably be one coat. You may have to come back with a second coat. Yeah. The walnut oil was about 10 bucks. The shellac was about 11. So, but shellac, because it's probably gonna require more coats, it'll probably cost about the same. So your choice in what you wanna use, the shellac is kind of sticky, gets all over the place. And the walnut oil is actually a food, you don't have to use gloves or anything. Yeah. Um, so it'll probably be about a quarter per, um, per one to finish. You can leave them unfinished, and not put anything on them. Um, but the pros and cons of that, you know what that is. Yeah. Um, and so what is your choice? Mm. Wait, so one oil is actually food, right? Yes. Because I'll say if it wasn't, it's kind of weird that they put 33 servings per container. Yeah, yeah. they say how many calories it is. Yeah, Yeah, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna choose the walnut oil though. Okay, yeah. good choice. Uh, you definitely like it. Yeah. yeah. Also, they'll love the smell. It'll last for days. <laughs> All right. Our still smell like walnut oil. <laughs> there you go. All right, here we go. Go ahead and put a lot on there, let it soak in. There you go. Yep, let it soak into the wood, not the rag. He <laughs> said let it soak in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and there's the second one. So now we'll let those dry and then the project will be done. Do you want to polish it with beeswax wood polisher? Now that it's all got walnut oil and everything, the beeswax wood polisher will add an extra cost to it. Um, so it's not going to be like fine furniture where it needs to be polished and it's going to be near a hot surface. So it doesn't really need yeah. the wood polish, the furniture polish to make it look that pretty. It's going to be more of a useful device. So it can go either way. So it'll probably be about a quarter added on per one or you can leave it off, your choice. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave it off since it's, since it's mostly just useful and it's not meant to look as pretty as it's being used. All right, so we're going to leave it off. Friday workshop! This mess is from a completely different project. Yeah. <laughs> so this is unrelated. Yeah. So I, if you saw our, our last video, um, you'll know why this giant mess is here. Yeah, from our vacation video. We just went on vacation, left this mess, yeah. <laughs> and we uh, came back to it. What a mess. Um, anyway, so let's talk about your spatula project. Yeah, it turned out beautifully, I think. It did. And the person who got the spatula absolutely loved it. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. Took a picture of her using the spatula even and shot it to us. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what do you think? What do you think about this? I think it turned out pretty good. I think I did a good, good job of um, deciding on what um, to you know, use, the form to use me for. Yes. And there's a balance that I wanted you to learn between making a profit and having a good product, right? And having a good product is very, very important. And sometimes the profit will suffer, right? And that's okay. You don't have to make every penny possible. Yeah. Um, and you probably want to make at least one penny though. Yeah, but I mean, you don't have to always even make a profit, right? Yeah. Like as long as you have an amazing product, people continue to come back over and over and you'll get new, new stuff. Yeah. So, and, and they absolutely love it. And that is just amazing. So, Anything else? Uh, no, but this is the final total that we ended up with. Oh, there's the final total. <laughs> and until next time. See ya. See ya.